Oh, you mean there's an elephant in the room? So, oh. so we walked up around this corner, and lo and behold, a stack of beautiful rocks here. It's amazing. It's just up here out of, out of nowhere. Long ways up here out of nowhere. <laughs> You're saying you can't see the forest for the trees? That is, that is exactly what I'm saying. Japan contains forgotten history. Japan Treasure Hunters is on the path to finding. On this episode of Japan Treasure Hunters, Jonathan and Jimmy return to Nakasendo to see if they can relive the magic of the previous week. All right, so, so I know you've read treasure hunting books like I have, just the signs and markers and stuff. Right. Tell me that's not a marker for something. The notches in the top of the rock? Yeah. So from what I've read is that the square blocks like that are like the caches, and then each one is a cache. So there's five and there's rock stacked like this, but they do this all the time over here, so I'm not really... I think we're gonna have to do a little more investigation in this area here. There's some more uh, marks. Hash there too. There's... Three? Four. Four. They're almost, One, in, a, two, three, they're almost in a straight line. What's up, what's up from that? I know, I wonder if it's... Uh, yeah, well, if 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 that's a meter, then that's like freaking uh, 15 feet. That's another four, so that's 12, almost 30 feet, almost 10 meters in either direction. Although it would make for a fantastic treasure tale. Up here would make more sense. Finding any literature of Japanese treasure symbols yeah. prior to 1868 is extremely difficult. Is that the trail we came up? Yeah. Okay. Wow, this place is becoming more and more interesting all the time. I didn't discover it. It's been discovered, but it's a well, which would totally make sense. But they would have to have a well up here, fresh water, on the eight-kilometer hike from, uh, from the last uh, shrine. Is it water? Yeah. Jonathan and Jimmy were surprised to see a functioning well. If this was the Edo era, travelers would be extremely relieved to refill their bamboo canteens with a nice cold drink of water. That's what the water looks like. Wow. Pretty clean. Yeah. Not going to drink it though, but it's still pretty clean. It's kind of funny, we've wanted to sop several times. We were like, no, nah, just a little bit further. No, nah, just a little bit further. <laughs> Yeah, nice. The the first iron target of the day. Right here. And let's see. And the ground is extremely soft today because it was raining yesterday, so. Yeah, it's so soft. Wow, already found a coin. And the reason why it rang up is deep iron is because this is one of the iron Kane Tuhos. Brilliant. Nice. Nice. Yes, iron, iron Kane Tuho. This is an Ishinomaki Kane Tuho from 1768. Ah, one of the things I like to find. A pipe. A what? A pipe. All right. Kisero. Kind of broken up a little bit, but. The kisero, or pipe, was invented shortly after the arrival of tobacco in Japan in 1550. It's like a old hockey glass. Oh, it's cracked. Just pulled this out of the ground. It looks like a piece of a big, large pot. Because if you look right here, it's got, it's got a rim on it. I don't know if you can see it without. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a piece of a pot. 
steel pot? Yeah, steel pot. Like a tea, tea pot? Okay, no, 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 I think maybe for like uh, rice, the big rice pots. I don't know just yet. It's ringing up a tin. Oh, there it is, see it on its side? Muddy. Like huh? Like oh, nice. Alright. Just pulled another coin out of the ground. Today's a great day. Jimmy's found one and a half. I just found my second one of the day. I don't know. Here, how's that? Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. It's been used. I can see it's a Kane Tuho, but the writing is just, it's been chewed up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Little cup. Broken. All right, so I thought it was kind of interesting that this rock was in this place, and it just looks out of place. So I've come over here to dig and just pulled myself up a beautiful, beautiful, Pipe. This is a, a different design than I usually see. They're usually not square like that, or was that oct octagon? Mm. Nice. Yeah, interesting. I wonder where the other part is. So, another area of mine, you know, that y'all know I like to dig is uh, right next to the trees. Look at that. Another coin. Nice. Striking it rich today. Not really with these things, but they look nice. Got a good solid with no junk sound with it. So you know you, this one has to be dug. Right down in here. So as you can see, it's right next to the other hole. Looks like that's it right there. Wow, look at that beautiful pipe. So somebody who's sitting over here having a smoke lost his money. And me coming by 200 years later picked it up for him. Appreciate it, thank you. This is a beautiful pipe. That's nice, yeah. Good shape. Oh my God, it's cracked right there, but still it's a beautiful looking pipe. Holy crap. Uh, I see your pipe and raise you another Oh, wow, that one's nice too. Mine's not cracked. <laughs> During the Edo era, Kisero became popular with anyone who could afford one. But only after 1660 were designs inscribed. Yeah, that's in good condition. All right, you know what? You know what? I see your pipe, and I raise you another coin. Ah, God, you're killing me on the coin. <laughs> another one. Not too far from the other stash. Beautiful, beautiful. What? You can't be double dipping every hole. <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't the same hole. This is just off the side a little bit. All right, let's see if it is a coin. Right here. Oh, it is a coin. Look at that. He's in the hole right there. I don't know if you can... Can you see him? Right there. The Kane Tsuho began in 1626 and were used until 1860. Dates are not stamped on the coins, so it makes it difficult to date them, unless you can read kanji. Beautiful. Nice. All right. Found a little pocket of money. Okay, there is no way that this is a coin, too. Just about bringing up almost same same. This one's a little bit deeper, but you know what? There's rocks around here, so it looks like there's a little wall right here. Is it a coin? Hey, I'm gonna raise you another coin. I quit. I'm not playing this game no more. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 
These are all in the same little area too. I thought I had one. Nope. Dude, this is sick over here, man. I think this is another coin. This whole little area right here. It is another coin. If you were to compare the value of the Kane Tsuho to a yen nowadays, it would take 4,000 of these coins just to equal one yen. Another coin. Does that have a hole? Yeah. It's just, it's just a little dirty. Got a hole in it. Uh, I'll raise you another coin. I told you I'm not playing no more. <laughs> you cheat. It's right here. Another one. There's another one. This is unfrickin' believable. I think this beats the uh, Money Mountain. Man. I knew today was gonna be a good day, but I didn't think it was gonna be this good. I can go home now, I'm good. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> I think it's another one right here. Like one of the holes I dig before. Yeah, that's another one. Yep, that's another one. Let's see if I can find some light for you. Ah, you don't want to hear about this one. Why? Because I found another one. This definitely constitutes a Kane okay. spill. Well, so, so I don't know if you can see, but from this tree to this tree to this tree to this tree, I'm not sure if it goes to this one yet, but this little area is just loaded with coins. What that is? Oh, I know what that is. Oh, actually, I thought it was something else. I don't know what that is. It looked like a, um, a Meiji coin at first, but it looks like an old-time button or something. Coin, Jeff. Kane Tuho, Yonmon. Is it a coin? Yep. Yonmon. And it's the 11 liner. You can see the 11 lines on the back. Beautiful. Beautiful. At least 1763, at least. Could be a little bit newer, but 1763. Beautiful. Oh, here it is. It's another coin. This is a two sen Meiji era coins. Yeah. Meiji era, oh, which yeah. is uh, 1867. And so, right uh, on the path too, huh? Yep. <sighs> Beautiful. Part me for a second while I dig this can. Did that say? 81. Brilliant today. That's Whoa. not a can. What is that? Is that a pipe? No. What is that? It looks old though. Has Jimmy just found a historical relic? Wow, I have no idea. This is a Yatate. 
or an inkwell. It dates back to the Edo era. It is in fantastic condition, only missing the brush. 500 yen sitting on top of the ground, baby. Oh, five bucks. Right. It didn't even come close to paying tolls coming out here, but it's all right. It's all right. So I found this up there. Don't have an idea of what it is. Well, <laughs> we've, we've actually found a few of these. And, uh, and these are actually uh, sword handles or like the Tonto handles, the, the short, short swords. Right. Um, I can tell that because uh, this hole right here is where they they put in the dowel in order to lock in the handle. Unfortunately, however, the rest of the rest of the blade was broken off right here, and the handle's broken off there. But still a good find, man. Nice. I may have found all the coins, but you found the cool stuff. <laughs> nice. I just got a coin. Just flipped it out of the hole. See it right here on the ground. Look at the mud underneath it. Got a perfect impression. Weather was perfect. The funds were abundant. Nothing like fresh mountain air and a metal detector in your hand. Thank you for watching Japan Treasure Hunters on the path of forgotten history and see you next time.